Hi, how you doing? This is uh, Jeremiah's uh, report, and uh, I want to talk about Black Friday. Black Friday. Black Friday. What is wrong with everybody with Black Friday? Walmart should really should cancel Black Friday. I mean, really. I mean, bad enough they're not paying their, their um, people enough. They are, they having people. They don't even have police officers present at these Black Friday events that are making us as Americans look like raving idiots. You save a couple of hundred dollars, couple of about well, a hundred dollars, fifty dollars on a product. And you have everybody trampling themselves over each other, killing, literally, killing each other for a product. Black Friday. Why is it called Black Friday? There you go. Black Friday. Why is it called Black Friday? It's a racist terminology. You think corporations will stay away from racist terminology like Black Friday, Black Ball, Black Jack, and stuff like that. And it's racist. It is simple as that. And it, it cannot be denied. Everything negative concerning black in this country, everything black concerning this country is, in fact, in a negative perspective. Why is it? That the white guy, the, the the person dressed up in white, is the good guy, and the tr person dressed up in black is the bad guy. Through Western TVs, Western movies, and so forth and so on. I mean, I mean, when are black people going to think about talking about this situation before it gets worse? Okay. Then next thing you know, they be having African American. Hold down or African American fights, <laughs> fight day, <laughs> or something like that. They already have fight day in prisons. Now we we have suffered a lot of things in 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 Af in, in America, and I don't think organizations like Walmart should be promoting such things called Black Friday. Why not call it Gray Friday? Why not call it Light Friday? Like, why ain't call it White Friday? Why? Well, they ain't call it Orange Friday, but they call it Black Friday. You have a whole list of colors in the color scheme of America in the world, and you pick black. Some people are not offended by it, but I am. It's ridiculous. And how Americans act on these Fridays. They camp out for days to get products to save maybe a hundred dollars here, hundred and fifty dollars there. On top of that, they they bull rush, they should be on the line walking in like civilized people and getting their products. But when they get in after they they they, they 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 look for the products, they tear up the darn place, and then when they leave, Walmart is in a disaster zone. That's not civilized at all. I don't know what's going on with this country, but it is turning into insanity. This whole country is Looney Tunes, and I don't know what it is. I don't know if I was caught in a time warp, and I came up in the future and saw all this shit. That's how it feels to me, all right? It feels like I came from the 1950s and 60s, where everybody was loving each other and, and, and saying black power this, black power that, to not giving a fuck about one of, them, one of each other. All you do is, in Black Friday, all you do is run each other over. You kill people by trampling underfoot. This is not 
It's not an attitude of a rational society. It's, it's not an attitude of a society where other societies should be looking up to. It's plain madness. And we got to stop this before it's too late. What is going on in this country where everybody's not caring, nobody cares about anybody? All they do is care about themselves and what they can get and how they can get it and how they can roll over your behind to get it. They start all this nonsense when it comes to businesses. They put it on they put it on T V and movies how corporate executives used to trample over each other just to get a position or a higher position or recognition for a job they done. And they seen this plausible as long as they get the job done they don't care how people are run over you got the class situation rich people's words are better than poor people's words alright and it shouldn't even be like that cause it's usually the poor is the one telling the truth they don't have nothing to lose. Why not tell the truth? So it's the rich people lying their ass off. And the conditions that that Walmart have their 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 their, 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 their employees in is ridiculous. I said it in one of my tapes, and um my biblical study tapes that um you work for six to seven dollars an hour for a product. One product coming off in that store costs more than your paycheck. Ridiculous. And for one hour, they can sell hundreds of products. And you get $6.75 or $7 an hour. Don't you think you should be getting more money? It's like these corporations are raking in money. And not giving you a darn thing. I mean, damn, nobody cares about anybody. Corporations don't care about their employees. People don't care about themselves. People don't, people people care about what they can get, and they don't care how they get it. And it's actually plausible. How is that? How is that being Christ-like in this Christian? world we live in. Do religion even plays a part in your daily thought processes? Being kind to somebody? Saying hi? Or something? Obviously religion is not working out in this country. You gotta have to try something else. Because obviously this world don't give a damn about itself. Or anybody next to me. Families and friends doing each other in for a piece of money or a piece of the pie. Everybody just trying to get the piece of the pie or save some money. Everybody trying to mess each other up for money or to save money. Everybody trying to get this fancy ass car or this big ass house to impress their friends, so forth and so on. And on the meanwhile, they stomping on somebody while they're doing it. It's a good thing to get something and not have to stomp on somebody to get it. But it's hard in this country to do that. It's ridiculous. Why are we losing our minds? People say there's no hope. You have hope. You have hope. You just didn't put your head into that hope yet. You didn't put your head into the Bible of the hope. And most of y'all can't translate the Bible. People don't care about each other no more. And it's sad. Unbelievable. Even family members, even friends that you knew for years will storm for you in this country. And it's seen as plausible. And if you don't do it, there's something wrong with you. Even got the suspicion that. Suspicions. 
nobody trusts nobody. And due to the fact that nobody trusts nobody, people tend to lie because they don't trust the person they're next to because they think they're lying to them. And the person next to them probably think they're lying to them, so they don't tell them the truth or give them any love. What's wrong with this country? Is freedom... Is this what freedom is? Is this what the so-called forefathers of this country pictured for this country? Is it? I don't know, man. I see it every day. Nobody cares about nobody unless they get something from them. And that's facts. First thing you do when you when you when you see your baby girl, your 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 um your baby's mama, the first thing she comes out of her mouth was You got some money? I'm the I'm the father of your children. That's the first thing you say to me? Or or on Christmas said, where'd you buy me? I bought you um a postcard. That's not enough. Were you expecting a Lamborghini or a mo motorcycle? All I'm saying is this: people are not caring about anybody nowadays, and it's sad. And I don't know why. Black Friday is a prime example of this. It's coming unbearable to live in this country. It's coming unbearable to talk to a person with a straight face. It's coming unbearable to do things for others that probably is trying to mess you over. Something wrong here. Something broken. And personally, you need to fix it. This is what freedom is. This is what's supposed to be uh, the land of the free, the home of the brave, and um, God's country. Really? If it is, I prefer it to be somewhere else. As simple as that. It's not necessary guns on the street. It's not necessary everybody shooting each other down, which is a part of it. But the essence of caring for somebody, well being, is missing. Nobody loves anybody. That's why you got 80% of this nation, African American, so called African American, that are not married with children have a record number of black people on welfare because the father either can't support or will not support the kids. Just not right. If this continues of not caring, the chaos will spread like a disease and get worse like any other disease. If you don't treat it Am I lying? I can't be. It's not the country I fought for. It's not the country I thought was the country that should have been. But it came to an apex of greatness during the, the 70s, 80s, and 90s. And it's going downhill. Big time. Nobody cares about each other. And it's sad. Jeremiah Israel. Shalom.